Point of order, Mr. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I welcome today's vote. Parliament has clearly spoken. Uh, order. Or, or, order. Apologies. The Prime Minister was heard. Yes, he was. Don't argue the toss with the chair. I'm telling you what the situation is, and everybody can detect. The Prime Minister was heard, and the Leader of the Opposition will be heard. It is as simple and unarguable as that. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I welcome today's vote. It's an emphatic decision by this House that de has declined to back the Prime Minister's deal today and clearly voted to stop a no-deal crash-out from the European Union. The Prime Minister must now comply with the law. He can no longer use the threat of a no-deal crash-out to blackmail members to support his sell-out deal. Labour is not prepared to sell out the communities that we represent. We are not prepared to sell out their future. And we believe that ultimately the people must have the final say on Brexit, which actually only the Labour Party is offering. Today is an historic day for Parliament because it said it will not be blackmailed by a Prime Minister who is apparently prepared once again to defy a law passed by this Parliament. I invite him to think very carefully about the remarks he just made about refusing, apparently, to apply for the extension which the EU No. 2 Act requires him to do. Yeah.